Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we're here in Santa Clara in California in the United States at the Etsy NFE ISG meeting number seven. And I'm talking with Samia Donlakia, who's a group vice president and general manager at Citrix. Good to see Samia, you, Martin. Thanks, thanks. Uh, Samia, great to see you. It's evident, is it not, that NFE is of great importance, great potential Indeed. importance to the global commerce industry. What role do you think Etsy has played in the NFV story? I think it's been uh, critically important to be a galvanizing function for the industry. I think having uh, many of the largest and leading carriers come together to describe what they need, the vision they have, and drive the rest of the ecosystem around uh, that serve them towards that vision has been critically important. And I think in, in general, uh, we at Citrix and I think best in class companies always start with customers and work backwards from their needs. And I think the Etsy organization has provided a great forum by which we can all understand the vision of our customers and how we can best enable them to achieve it. It's also frequently emphasized that NFE has to be open if it's going to be successful worldwide. But what's the reality? I mean. We've seen this before, haven't we? The, <laughs> the history of the communications and IT industries has always been one of proprietary technologies, yeah. systems and products in the end. They may become de facto standards, yeah. but they're not necessarily an international standard. Yeah. How are we going to avoid it this time round? Yeah. You know, openness is at the core of a lot of what we do here uh, at Citrix, certainly at the core platform layers, the infrastructure, uh, our Zen hypervisors and server and uh, cloud stack as a cloud orchestration platform for the, the VIM, the virtual infrastructure management layer in the NFE construct um, are you know, open source based projects driven by that and we then engage with our community to drive that forward. Now, we believe very much that open source is playing a radically different role in IT broadly speaking in this generation than it has in the past uh, 20, 30 years. Historically, if you looked at open source, you would see some proprietary uh, player coming to market with an operating system, call it Microsoft, a database, call it Oracle, and so on and so forth. And n number of years later, you would see an open source, lower cost alternative that would show up, where n was typically five, seven, 10 years after the original innovation. And in this era, what we call the mobile cloud era, uh, we are seeing innovation start with open source and proprietary follow. Think of Apache Hadoop and the big data movement. It's driven by this open source project called Apache Hadoop. Cloud orchestration has been driven by CloudStack, OpenStack. These are the drivers of innovation and now you have proprietary players that are coming around and saying, how do I build on top of that open core and add value, provide services, provide support, and I believe that thus the role going forward will be radically different of, o in op of open source in the community. So the model's been turned upside down for the first time. What's the reaction been in the industry to that? Well, I think you're seeing more and more players um, like Citrix engage more aggressively in open source. We're seeing how important of a role it can play, and whether it's with what we're doing and, and our layers of the stack, or you watch what's been happening in the OpenStack community and many of the large um, IT players, uh, again, trying to find commercial mechanisms by which they can, they can build on top and profit from it. Uh, all the major IT players are understanding this shift, this growing role and importance of, of open source in the solution stack of what our customers will be using. And I think particularly so uh, here with NFV and the carriers. Okay, thank you. We all know about the potential benefits of NFE, which are manifold, but what about barriers to its adoption? There must be some. What are they and how can they be overcome? I think, um, Martin, there are probably uh, two principal barriers that, that leap to mind for me. Number one is around scale, stability, reliability, resiliency of the technologies that will form the basis of and enable NFE. Um, I would argue that many of those technologies have been built for enterprise grade, but not carrier grade. 
and carrier grade simply has a higher uh, a higher bar sure. for what uh, those characteristics, the illities as I like to call them, of, of quality and reliability and scalability that, that's expected and required. So I think there's maturation on the technology side, um, but as you well know, technology is just the technology, that's one small component. I actually think the larger challenge will really be around um, mind share and, and training of uh, the personnel in the ecosystem, at the, both at the carriers and around the industry, around these new technologies, you know, virtualization and cloud computing and how we leverage you know, new software-defined networking models. All of those are, are very new technologies and any adoption of that at the scale that we are describing at the largest deployments in the world will simply take time. And there's a training, there's a, a skill set that has to be available in the marketplace. Um, I believe that will be measured in years, um, but I believe that it's an inevitability. Thank you. A final question to you, which is back to Etsy. We're here at an Etsy meeting. It's focused entirely on NFE, and it's the International Standards Group, so it's very, very focused. What's going to happen at the end of this, the seventh meeting? Um, what's next for NFV? And what about Etsy? Is Etsy going to maintain this enabling role that it's had from the start? Yeah. Uh, you know, as, a, as an industry participant, um, I certainly hope so. I hope that this is meeting 70 of 70. Seven of 70. Mm -hmm. We have many, many more of these. And again, it, it circles back to my original comment of focusing on the customer and the customer use cases and the customer requirements. And insofar as Etsy has demonstrated an ability to to drive clarity around that vision, to drive clarity around those requirements, I think it benefits all parties involved from the carriers to the ecosystem that is trying to serve them. Um, so I, I do uh, believe and, and hope that we will see many more meetings to come, and I think that that organization can and should continue to provide that function of the customer voice to the industry. And a final, final question to you, which is what about Citrix then? How ready are you for NFV? We're very excited about the opportunity around NFV. We have a very broad portfolio uh, of technologies at Citrix, uh, starting with many of our networking uh, technologies. Uh, Netscaler is the, uh, one of the leading uh, application delivery controllers in the industry, deployed at very large scale in some of the largest clouds and carriers in the world. Uh, we have our, our own VNF, our own network function, um, in a solution called Byte Mobile uh, that helps optimize um, mobile traffic and monitor and optimize mobile traffic, and uh, it would be a great VNF to run on an NFE platform. And so we and also deployed it over 100, 100 service providers around the world. Um, so we're taking those networking components in our portfolio and marrying them up with our infrastructure components. So we have a hypervisor um, uh, investment with what we do in Zen and Zen Server, uh, and then our cloud investment around cloud orchestration in technology called Apache CloudStack. So we, we feel like we're fairly unique in the, the level, the complete portfolio of solutions that we can bring to bear um, to help carriers in their movement. And, and we'll obviously be bringing all them together in solutions that, that we think carriers will be interested in adopting. Okay, Samir Dolakia, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Martin, my pleasure.